Hello viewers, welcome to Rosco 24 News. This is the news hour. The Coalition for Change has been granted permission to hold a campaign rally in Mashingo South by the police, but with a set of strict restrictions. This development signals an uphill battle for the party as they strive to connect with voters and gain support ahead of the upcoming elections set for August 23, 2023. The approval for the rally scheduled for Saturday, July 8, 2023 near Nyajena Primary School came in the form of a letter from the officer commanding ZRP Masungo District dated July 6, 2023. However, the Citizens Coalition for Change will have to adhere to numerous conditions outlined under the Maintenance of Peace and Order Act, MOPA. Among the restrictions imposed by the police, the Citizen Coalition for Change Party has been instructed not to provide transportation for attendees to the venue. They are also prohibited from chanting party slogans, singing, shouting or engaging in, in any form of aggressive demonstration. In addition, the opposition party has been warned against intimidating bystanders or non-participants, obstructing roads and spreading hateful or defamatory information. The party is also required to cooperate with all government agencies. According to the police communique, the Citizens Coalition for Change must ensure adequate sanitation facilities and strictly adhere to the scheduled dates and times. This decision comes on the heels of several challenges faced by the C in obtaining police clearance for their rallies. <laughs> In a recent incident in Chirezi, eight Triple C members were arrested for allegedly defining a ban on their gathering at Chovani Stadium. The confrontation between opposition supporters and the police arose when law enforcement agents informed the opposition that the venue had already been booked for a state event on the same day. In another setback for the Triple C, the police have denied the Nelson Chamisa led party permission to launch their election campaign rally in Bindura for the weekend. Citing concerns related to security and public health, the police argued that the selected venue, a vacant plot of land in Brockdale, lacked essential infrastructure such as roads, water and sewer facilities. Moreover, the Citizens Coalition for Change's notification was deemed untimely, which was considered a violation of uh, the draconian MOPA. The restrictions could hinder the ability of the Triple C party to effectively campaign and connect with the electorate in the lead up to the August elections. The struggles faced by the Triple C party to secure permission for their rallies and the subsequent restrictions highlight the challenges faced by opposition parties in Zimbabwe as they strive to engage with voters and participate in the democratic process.